So, Sakshi, can you hear me and see me? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Where are you speaking from? Sir, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Very good. So, kindly tell us something about yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Sakshi Mutliar. I belong to Bhilai Chhattisgarh. I have done my schooling from there itself. After that, I did B.Tech in Civil Engineering from National Institute of Technology, Raipur. And uh, presently, I'm working as Probationary Assistant Engineer in Chhattisgarh Public Health Engineering Department. Good. You seem to be interested in the history of India. Now, yes, many sir. people are of the view that history of India should be rewritten. <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of debate going on in the country. What is your view? Uh, sir, uh, what I feel is that the, uh, the history of India should not be completely rewritten. Some points can be added to it, like the Please repeat your answer. The audio is uh, a sir, problem I... from your side. Please repeat your answer. Okay. Uh, sir, I believe that uh, some uh, more depth can be included in the already included uh, syllabi. Uh, like the history of the Indian rulers can be written in more depth. No, but they say that distorted history has been written. Some portions must be replaced. Uh, sir, I believe, sir, I think only that portion uh, should be replaced, which is true. Uh, the the true events should be uh, uh, should be uh, written, and uh, not anything that is made up should be added. I'll give you an example. Now, Mughals, Aurangzeb, for example, many say, many historians say that he was kind-hearted, <laughs> he was living, he was uh, stitching uh, caps yeah. and living out of that. <laughs> there was, he was a big tyrant and he had imposed jazia tax on Hindus. There are many such instances where the British and others, they have written and glorified those things which should not have been glorified. So there are many yes, such instances. What do you say? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, definitely uh, these portions of the history should be written. Uh, it's, it's respectful uh, on the part of the real Indian rulers who have actually contributed uh, to the upliftment of the people. So Anything that part should be modified. Can there be any other reason also for rewriting history of India? Um, any other reason? Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, I okay, feel I that will, what is true and... Uh, I will tell you later on. Yeah, My colleagues will talk to you now. Sakshi, what, what was your most favorite subject in engineering? Uh, sir, uh, soil mechanics and uh, structural analysis. And structural analysis. Okay. So, soil mechanics, what is the uh, sort of uh, optimum moisture content? Sir, uh, it is basically that uh, water content at which if we do the compaction at this uh, moisture content, we will uh, get the maximum density for a uh, given compactive effort. Okay. If we increase the moisture content above OMC, what happens? Uh, sir, uh, the 
the maximum density uh, would be reduced. Will be reduced. Yes, sir. How do you identify uh, the soil is clay, silt, or sandy by touching it and feeling it? Um, so, uh, uh, basically, in case of coarse grain soil, they are visible by the particles are visible by naked eyes. So, we can classify them as coarse grain or fine grain. But uh, when we are going for silt, there is a very specific test which is known as dilate uh, NC test in which we add some amount of water in the uh, palm and then pat it. If the water appears and uh, disappears very fastly in a very quick manner, then it is silt, otherwise it is clean. Good. Kashi, you have said that your favorite subject is geotechnical engineering and another is structural engineering. Yes. Okay. Uh, suppose actually uh, there is a mine steel specimen bar and we are doing tension testing on that. That means on a mine yes. steel we are applying the tensile load P. Yes. Now yes. it will fail in and the failure name is cupboard failure. The name of the failure is cupboard failure. Sir, uh, sir, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, now, sir, uh, the net connection is getting disturbed. Can you repeat the question? Yes, yes, Sakshi. Sakshi, suppose there is mild steel and we are we are applying tension on it. On it. Okay? Yes. So, what is the name of the failure? What is the uh, name of the failure? Sir, right? for... Uh, for tension. Uh, sir, uh, since mild steel is a ductile material, when we apply a tensile load, uh, we will get a... Uh, like a cone shape will be formed uh, in the middle, the cross section will be reduced. Uh, sir, uh, uh, I'm unable to recall that exact name. Of that. Ask her to repeat. Okay. Uh, Sashi, am I audible to you now? Because your voice yes. is breaking. Uh, please repeat yes. your answer. Uh, sir, the cross section at the middle will be reduced. And uh, this uh, this is known as the cone and the cup failure. Okay, okay, it is cup cone failure. Okay, so why yes, the cup cone failure is at forty five degree only? Why the failure is not at fifty degree, fifty five degree, eighty degree? Why is this failing at forty five degree? Sir, uh, uh, at forty five degree. The shear stress is maximum, and any ductile material is weak in shear, so it fails in shear. So that plane of maximum shear lies at forty-five degrees, so that's why it fails at forty-five degrees. Okay, uh, rubber is a ductile material or brittle material? Rubber is a ductile or brittle? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't want to make a guess here. Okay. Now, uh, suppose we want to check the long term stability of a building. Okay, or your NIT Raipur is a very old building. And we want to do the long term yes. testing of NIT Raipur. So, should we do CD test, PU test, UU test? Which test should we do? Sir, uh, for uh, checking the long term uh, stability, we will go for consolidated drained test. Okay. CT test. Okay. And in which seismic zone uh, Raipur is? Sir, it's in uh, zone 2, the minimum one, zone 2. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sakshi, thank you. Hello, Sakshi, how are you? Sir, I'm audible. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Uh, what is, what is Bilai famous for? Sir, uh, Bilai is uh, uh, majorly famous for its Bilai steel plant, which is a subsidiary of the Steel Authority of India Limited. Apart from that, uh, it, it has now become an education hub also. Okay, very good. And do they manufacture aluminium sections also in Bilai? 
नो सर एक्चुअली एल्यूमिनियम सेक्शन इज मैन्युफैक्चर इन बालको भारत एल्यूमिनियम कॉर्पोरेशन विच इज इन कोरबा इट्स नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर इन भिलाई हाउ ओल्ड इज दिस भिलाई स्टील प्लांट सर भिलाई स्टील प्लांट वाज फॉर्म्ड इन द ईयर 1950 19 sir uh, i am unable to recall the exact year but uh, it was under the second five year plan so around 1954 so approximately sir uh, uh, 70 uh, 70 years amount uh, who is the chairman of bilais this uh, fail now um सर मिसेस सरकार मिसेस सरकार हैज बीन न्यूली अपॉइंटेड चेयरपर्सन एंड सर आई डोंट नो आई एम अनेबल टू रिकॉल हर नेम मैटर नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस व्हाट इज रिटेंडेंसी कैन यू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज रिटेंडेंसी इन यस सर sir uh, uh, when a structure is formed uh, suppose i take the example of truss then there will be some members which will be extra um, after the condition of determinacy and equilibrium has been satisfied so that extra members are called as redundant members number of such uh, members is known as uh, uh, is the redundancy of that particular structure so uh, in the normal truss you say truss is a, always have redundant structures D- does a truss structure uh, always sir. will be redundant no uh, please repeat no please sir my question is whether uh, tra- sir yes uh sir redundancy is basically uh, the extra number of reactions or the extra number of uh, uh, members we are having uh, apart from satisfying the condition of determinacy okay you tell us how have you done first you tell us kindly uh sir uh, in some questions in technical questions uh, i did okay but in the non tech question like the should history be rewritten uh, i think my answer was not satisfactory okay <laughs> well we find you very good candidate but you are right point is see this question was from your hobbies uh, das Yes, sir. Here you are written. So, in the history of India, for example, history of North East is not included at all. Okay, okay, yes, sir. So this is one factor. Even about Southern India, the history that yes, we sir. taught is mostly Northern India dominated. Yes, sir. That is also not there. And then the distortions in history. they were there so there's a lot of debate and efforts are being made to rewrite it anyway not to worry see this is only a dress rehearsal yes sir secondly your this mock interview we could not hear many things because of the audio problem okay so you must have a physical mock next time is yes, very sir. necessary and important for you because only then one can have a real interaction and give you a feedback yes sir you have another mock but it has to be offline physical mock yes sir surely otherwise you are a good candidate so please keep on working hard yes sir and whatever you have written in your das every around every word prepare questions okay sir and current affairs also and subject also these are three main areas from where the questions will come yes sir and read newspaper as well for current affairs yes sir now my colleagues will talk to you if they have anything to add on
आपका बात करने की लाउडनेस और जो टोन भी साफ कह रहे हैं दैट वॉज परफेक्ट की मेंटेन इट दैट वे यू आर नॉट नर्वस एंड यू आर इन लाइक वी आर टॉकिंग टू यू वी आर नॉट फीलिंग दैट एज ए you are a student and we are teacher which is not the case also you are one of us and you talk that way that is how you should appear in an interview uh, uh, sometimes we ask uh, controversial questions where there is uh, answers can be debatable so in the when a controversial question is asked you should remain away from the controversy you can say that both the different view points are there and this view point is also there that view point is also there and if i for my opinion i need more data or you can straight away say that i don't know anything yes, because if you answer a controversial yes. controversial question then some of the interview board members may not like it yes sir <laughs> so overall you have done very well good thank you and uh, if uh, physical uh, this thing interview will also help but that way we can see that how you are conducting yourself how you are walking how you are entering the room what dress yes. you are uh, how you are carrying yourself in the dress you should wear a dress in which you are comfortable whether it is sari or sari is always better if you are not uh, wearing if you are not comfortable in sari then whatever dress yes. you are wearing na right now that is also very nice good good luck any questions you have anything you want to ask further thank you sir okay all the best god bless you thank you bye bye uh sir uh, thank you sir Aap, yes ha uh, please ask maine pucha tha inse uh sir uh, a question was Sir, a question was asked that rubber is a ductile material or a brittle material. What was the answer to that? Rubber is a brittle material. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> generally, I will tell you a solution. I will tell you. Generally, people think that the more it is, the more it is ductile. But the correct yes, definition is that it is more like forced elastic strain. Rubber strain is more than that. It 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 is more than that. और जो ओके ओके एक्यूरेट डेफिनेशन है दैट इज पोस्ट इलास्टिक स्ट्रेन ज्यादा होना चाहिए पोस्ट इलास्टिक स्ट्रेन होगा इलास्टिक स्ट्रेन ज्यादा नहीं पोस्ट इलास्टिक स्ट्रेन ज्यादा होना चाहिए इट शुड बी मोर देन 5% और उसका छोटा इलास्टिक क्यूबिक का छोटा जैसे स्ट्रेन होता है वो टूट जाता है अच्छा टूट जाता है आपने मेरे क्लास देखे हैं क्या YouTube पे कहीं पे यस सर आई एम सीइंग ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चन यू हैव नो सर थैंक यू Thank you so much bye bye all the best